going to walk on the lake, not around the lake, on the lake. And it's not frozen, it's almost 80 degrees. We're going to walk on Lake Weatherford. Let's go down that road. Hello, faithful people. I'm Orlean. And I'm Gary. And we're going to walk on the longest boardwalk in the U.S. over Lake Weatherford. I'm excited. We've been wanting to do this for a while. We were going to come in the fall, and then we found out that because of the drought, the water was low. So we thought, oh, let's just wait. And then around Thanksgiving, we got ill for a while, for like a week. And then we had uh, the cold snap that came through Texas. And now today is a gorgeous, almost 80 degree day. We thought, let's go. Yep. And here we are <laughs> at Lake Weatherford. Come along. I always appreciate these maps before you go on a trail. This looks pretty simple. We're parked here. This is the south entrance. We're gonna go across this part of the lake and then into some woods. This little bit here and up to the north end and then you come back again. It's a, a two-way thing. This is where we're going to be is just this section here and this is all Lake Weatherford. It's a pretty good sized lake. There are shorter trails that just go around in here that don't go out on the lake at all. And then this one up here, when you get to the north, you can just go on this way and back up again. So this is a man-made lake. It's the result of damming up the Trinity River back in the 1950s. Boardwalk opened in 2020. The lake itself is about 1,100 acres and the maximum depth is 40 feet. Now we were gonna come in the fall, but we were told that the lake was pretty dry because of the drought. Right now it's a little more than six feet below normal. This is the Trinity River. According to the map, this is the lake. <laughs> it's only supposed to be six feet lower than normal. The drought has really taken its effect. We're hoping that there's another part up ahead yet that's deeper, but we have a feeling this is it. It's supposed to be the deepest part is 40 feet. I think we're not in that part of the lake. Yeah. The part where the boardwalk is isn't, um, it's way at the top, the northern part of the lake. Okay. So I bet the deepest part is farther down. Be... Wow, shoot. Let's go to this one. This would have been pretty in the fall though, I guess. That's when we were gonna come. And we thought, well no, there's there's no water. We, we should wait. <laughs> and then we got some rain and we thought, okay, all right, now's the time to go. Yeah. Well, we're pretty sure that's the north parking lot up ahead here. I hope we're wrong. Hope it keeps going. What swims here? I'm thinking not much. Oh, I just can imagine how beautiful this must be when the water is high. Oh, gosh. I think we're going to have to drive to another part of the lake. But it's a cool boardwalk. And it's a nice hike. And it's a change of scenery. Oh my gosh, we've been in the same, 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 same for two months. It's nice to have a change of scenery. Yep, that was the uh, north parking lot. No more lake here. The lake is going to go off the bigger part of the lake where it's very deep and we're hoping we can find a road to go to that is off to, it's off that way. 
And uh, like I said, this is just a very northern part of the lake. And there's supposed to be a lot more out there. <laughs> Gosh, it's going to get close to 80 today. In January. And less than two weeks ago, we were close to zero for a low. You can tell there's usually a lot of lily pads and things like that growing here. I wonder how long it's been dry though, how long it's been like this, because there's things growing here that you wouldn't see, like a tree. <laughs> you wouldn't see some of that growing in a lake if it had been a water for a while. Gary got a phone call from some friends in Wisconsin that we haven't talked to in a long time. They got our Christmas letter and he decided to give Gary a call. So that's who he's talking to right now. So I'm just gonna keep showing you the lake. Beautiful. <laughs> this is where we are right now. And down here, kayak launch. Let's see what's down there. something blue in the distance there. I'm gonna head over and see if that's where the kayak launches. Nice place to have a picnic by the lake. <laughs> wonder how long it's been since it's had water in this part. This is the kayak launch. Looks like you have to walk the rest of the way to the water. I'm walking on the road. <laughs> and there's the lake. Okay, well that's nice to know the whole thing didn't dry up. It's a good walk. The boardwalk alone is supposed to be 1.5 miles round trip. And I don't know how far. The lake is uh, over 1,100 acres. I see a spot up ahead here where I can go in off the road. All this ground in front, I think is usually wet. It's usually water. So much for lakefront property. I think they have to walk from their piers down into the water. How sad. This is meant to be a reservoir for this area. And when it's down this low, that's really concerning. So the deepest part is quite a ways out there yet. And Gary was just saying that if, if it's normally 40 foot, that means that right now it's about 34. And if you add another six feet to that, that's gonna push all this out. And so where the boardwalk is, it would probably be about two feet deep maybe when it's at the deepest it could be. Safer walking on the water when it's only two feet deep. Yeah. <laughs>
So in perspective, okay, here's where we started out, went across that little bit there where there was, I don't remember seeing any water much there, but then we went across the Trinity River. That was, we had that for water, and then we went over here. So, and now we're at the north parking lot. This is all dry, all dry, down to, here's the boat launch, the, the kayak launch around in here yep and then the water doesn't start until probably about here maybe so all that is drought dry wow golly that's something it's made out of composite boards as you can see yeah. yeah, and it must, these black parts here must um, buckle or something if it gets really hot, I would think. Sure. Because like, mom, in the summertime, over 100 degrees. Or when the water gets really deep. True. I don't know. <laughs> so we think that that's built by a beavers, but we're not sure because it's not damming anything up, so could just be muskrats. oh muskrats sure I'll bet or something else. there's supposed to be a lot of wildlife here uh, in the summertime there's a lot of lily pads kind of beyond all that right now we saw an eagle and some other birds but there's supposed to be herons and things here too There's the parking lot, but if we go this way, we'll go into the woods a little bit and it comes around and goes around through there and it'll come right back out over there. I think that's what we're gonna do. Let's see what interesting things there are. Maybe we'll see some little critters. Although it's pretty warm out, they're probably all in the shade right now. Underneath the, you're underneath the boardwalk. Yeah. <laughs> and when everybody's done walking the boardwalk, they all come out at night. <laughs> oh, I hear a chickadee. I love chickadees. Weatherford College here it says stay close go far <laughs> Weatherford College straight ahead is the historic landmark courthouse there's a vintage car museum over there Looks like a kind of cool place to go. That is a very unique, even for an older one like a lot of them are around that we've seen. This is wow. Looks like something out of a storybook. Looks like it's made out of Texas limestone. <laughs> Going to the town of Weatherford, and actually I guess even Weatherford Lake, is probably best experienced in the spring, summer, or fall. <laughs> but. The walk was nice, it was great to be out in nature, so that was great. Uh, but if you want to go to the town, it's a very historical town, there's a lot of things to do there. Besides some of the things I, I showed you in the video, there's also the Chander Gardens, the Clark Gardens Botanical Park, the National Vietnam War Museum, the Das Heritage Culture Center, 
which um, talks about the Comanche people who once ruled in Texas. And then the Vintage Car Museum and Museum of the Americas. In addition to that, there's the uh, um, antique shops, wineries, art galleries, a golf course, and the college was up on a hill, which was kind of neat looking. We didn't go up there, but we could see it from down below. Weatherford is also the capital, the world's capital for cutting horses training. And a cutting horse is a horse that um, a cowboy rides on and he will isolate livestock from the rest of the herd. That's the purpose of a cutting horse. And Weatherford is the cutting horse capital of the world. The city inspired Lonesome Dove, one of the most famous Western novels ever written. Have you ever read Lonesome Dove? I have not. Gary has not. But maybe, perhaps, we should. All right. Well, that was our day to Weatherford and Lake Weatherford and the longest boardwalk in the USA. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Help us to boost our channel visibility with YouTube. YouTube wants to see likes and subscribers and comments. So good or bad, if you didn't like this video and you thought it was really dumb, whatever. <laughs> Just, you know, give us a comment. We'd appreciate it. But be nice. All right. Don't forget to ring the bell so that you're notified every time new videos come up. Check out our Facebook page. And until next time, God, God bless. bless.